Hey YouTube, this video will be a new diecast review on Jeff Gordon's 2011 Drive in Hunger as seen on YouTube Chevrolet. This is a really cool car that I got from the Martinsville Speedway at a tent for six dollars. And uh, yeah, so let's take a look at the box here. The 4888 Hendrick Motorsport 524, ages four and up. Jeff Gordon, AARP. D T E H slash YouTube 2011 Impala limited edition code 164 scale stock car limited edition collectible ages oh, it is worn up gold series action collectibles uh, racing collectibles sorry steel the choice champions the barcode and NASCAR action NASCAR hologram warning Lionel, RCCA, GM, and RCCA members. Let's take this out. Yeah, I think I failed again, guys. Yeah, I did. Hold on. Alright, sorry, sorry about that, guys. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if you are wondering, this... It looks a hundred percent like the regular driving hunger minus the YouTube sign and all that, but uh, I wanted it mostly for the American ethanol logo. I know that sounds stupid, but and because it's Jeff Gordon. No, if you noticed, maybe my username and uh, I'm a Jeff Gordon fan. <laughs> yeah. So um. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Alright, sorry about that, guys. My dog was. I don't know. Something. Anyway, uh. Let's take a look at the sponsors here. Drive to In Hunger, AARP, as seen on YouTube. 24 Chevy Impala. Okay, it's a little cross. Cricket or whatever. Hendrick Motorsports. Goodyear, Gatorback, Moog, Mail, Comp, Edelbrock, Snoco, uh, Cup Series, I mean, NASCAR Race Car, Cup Series, Canis Square, Holly, 3M, USG, Jigs, Jeff Gordon, uh, Bosch, Pure Lighter, hold on. I don't know what that says. So it's Freightliner, Siemens, and something like that. Whatever. Um, Drive in Hunger, AARP, Quaker State, as seen on YouTube. Um, uh, is that Merrick Hour? No, that is Beep Match. Oh, okay. Uh, Lowe's, Summer Salute, Petri Max, Gatorade, uh, Amp, American Ethanol, DuPont. Text Hunger to 50555, Chevy, 24, Quaker State. Drive in hunger. Come on. I'm sorry, guys. This, this I'm still not used to this webcam again. But uh, so yeah. Uh, so the paint or the main colors in the car are red. Yellow and black and silver. I guess white, but anyway. So we start out here with the yellow splitter, and then the yellow turns to black, and then the red comes up for the entire like top area, and then black runs down all the way down there to the quarter panel, and then it stops. Or no, it doesn't. It's stops right up here, but it goes down to the bumper and goes right around the car, and then it starts or. Also comes over there, and then it kind of merges with that black. Cause, but the uh, for most of it, the silver is separating it, and the roof rails are black. So I guess that's how you explain it. But I don't know. Oh, by the way, uh, I didn't mention this, but this is for Race Day 2011's Diecast Review Contest. I didn't. I forgot. To say that, because 
I failed, and then my dog needed something, and all that crap. So, uh, you probably already saw it in the description, but some people don't read description. But anyway, so let's take a 360 view of the car. Here is the left side. There's the front. There's the right. There's the back. Top. And bottom. Um. So yeah. Um. Uh, Alright, quick update while I put the car back in the box. Um. I. Or if you wanted to know why I failed, uh. This is like only the second time I've taken this car out of the box, so. It's not really have it for me to take this car out of the box. I don't know, I just haven't taken. Sorry. Uh, but I just haven't taken it out of the box too much because. It's just like the normal AARP car. I got three drive in hunger cars, and then one is the Chevy 100 years. But after this review, I'm going to start reviewing all the Chevy 100 years in. And it happened to be from, from, uh, I hope you can't hear them. How come they're so loud whenever I'm, okay, anyway, um, once Chevy, I'm going to review all the Chevy 100 years cars in, uh, order, number. Like, I didn't get the, uh, what the heck, oh, I didn't get the, um, what was it, uh, the, the program one, because I just don't kind of have money I barely have enough for well I got 70 something cars but uh, I'll tell you that I still don't have a lot of money but I could get weekly allowance or, but whenever the first 2012 cars come out I'm, I'm gonna figure out how to get or I'm, I'm gonna save up my money during the off season so when I the first one Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the Hall of Fame cars are going to come out next year first, which will really be better than they did this year, because it came out, like, smack dab in the middle of the season. It really messed me up. So, uh, yeah. Alright, that's kind of an update, guys, but, uh, I'm also going to try and convince my dad. Yeah, I went to the Martinsville race, and then the guy, some guy called from Martinsville, and he's like, uh, you can have something where you can pay for part of the ticket now for the spring race, and then pay later so if my dad hears that or I'm gonna try and get him I could maybe possibly but I don't know my dad really doesn't like Martinsville too much so that's why as if he did we'd probably be going to Martinsville and Bristol but he doesn't really so yeah wish me luck on that I could be going to two races next year if but I'm probably not I'm not counting on my dad saying yes to it so my mom doesn't go to the races. The only thing she'd actually be there for would be the Carl Edwards backflip. And then, because she's a Carl Edwards fan just because of his backflips. She's not really a NASCAR fan. She just, she's been actually, she actually watched the Phoenix race though because Tony was leading so much and stuff. Anyway, uh, so comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.